Ministry such as called moral virtue versus moral disobedience, impact on Gen Z adult elevation and environmental intention. Uh, we decided to conduct this research after realizing that, at least in Italy, um, the acts of moral disobedience have become a common tool uh, to raise attention on the topic of climate change, at least from uh, some movements. But also we realize that these actions are dividing the public opinion uh, into uh, half, I would say. So are there, mm, there's people uh, asking if they're necessary to raise attention on the, on the topic. And other, reason, other people are saying that they just uh, should be condemned because they are unnecessary, they are violent, they are counterproductive. And we decided to uh, study this on Gen Z for three reasons. First of all, because in the let's say mainstream public opinion, we could say that Gen Z are not really represented uh, as a mother of voices. Then, because uh, Gen Z is regarded as a generation that is highly high involved in the topic of climate change, and also because most of the people composing the movement, such as this generation, are actually coming from Gen Z. And then we decided also to compare uh, moral disobedience to moral virtue that is described as uh, uncommon acts of goodness that people can make and that they are believed to be linked with prosociality through the moral emotional elevation. And we, want, we were wondering whether these form, both forms of behavior have the same, um, let's say, um, linkage to uh, pro supporting pro-environmental intention. So we, de uh, we developed three uh, hypotheses, uh, also starting from previous literature on the topic. First of all, we expected that Gen Z individual would have um, experienced more moral elevation compared in uh, the uh, condition in which they were experiencing moral virtue instead of moral disobedience. On the contrary, we were expecting that moral disobedience would lead to more negative emotion compared to moral virtue. And uh, afterwards, the final hypothesis is a mediation model where we expect pro, uh, acts of moral virtue to predict pro environmental intention mediated by moral elevation, while we do not expect this to happen for moral disobedience. Uh, we conducted an online survey, uh, collected data among undergraduate students at our university, but also some fifth-year high school students participated in the survey, and divided the uh, um, uh, participants in four experimental groups. So we have a control uh, condition, two moral virtue condition, one related to, uh, let's say, common act of uncommon goodness, such as finding a wallet uh, and returning it back to the owner. Uh, then an actual moral virtue related, uh, act of moral virtue related to the environment, uh, such as uh, dedicating uh, his own a uh, person dedicating his own life to planting trees in his community, and then uh, an act of moral disobedience. Uh, it was an article about last generation activists uh, putting pull, pulling sap sap on a thing. And after the experimental condition, we measured elevation and negative emotion, and afterwards for environmental intention. So these are the results for uh, hypothesis one and hypothesis two, and they are both verified. So as you can see, uh, in the moral virtue condition, um, moral elevation was higher uh, compared to moral disobedience. Interestingly enough, elevation was significantly higher um, in the moral virtue, let's say normal condition, compared to pro-environmental uh, moral virtue, but I'm not going to dive into it. And then uh, we have also uh, the results for negative emotion that I would say are quite uh, self-explanatory. Then for hypothesis 3, we created a mediation model using process model 4 for SPSS. And as you can see, I don't know if you can read the numbers, I think no, because they're very small. Uh, as you can see, exposure to moral virtue was predicting moral elevation, and moral elevation itself was predicting pro environmental intention, but it was a positive indirect effect. And this, uh, the first part of the third hypothesis, it can be considered as verified. It is in, actually in line with uh, some of our previous research on the topic. And then when we um, confronted the exposure to moral disobedience in the mediation model, we found that uh, it negatively predicts moral elevation and that moral elevation still predicts for environmental intention. Uh, so we have a negative, a significant indirect effect, meaning that people experiences, is experiencing less moral elevation are also the ones uh, expressing less for environmental intention. But here we found a result that we were not expecting, that is there is a direct effect of exposure to moral disobedience to the intention um, to act in pro-environmental ways. And um, this leads us to believe that the second part of the hypothesis is still 
uh, necessary to, um, to have fact research on it. Uh, because we don't really know which is the mediator that brings that because we tested the same model with negative emotion instead of moral elevation but negative emotion does not have any effect on the intention to behave in a primary um, way and we decided so to have a second study to try to overcome some limitation of this study such as the gender balance in our sample but also to test new variables, new mediators such as other moral emotion that can tell us more about what people feel when uh, they are being exposed to moral disobedience, but also to try to measure actual behavior instead of intention, just to check whether uh, this kind, of assisting to this kind of um, actions can actually lead people to change their behavior toward a more sustainable alternative. And I think this is everything on my side. There is a partial bibliography in the slides. And if you have any question, you can uh, make it here or in private.